I need to declutter, y'all. That's a different conversation. This is a broom, or we call it a bale. I don't know if you guys remember this video about Camille. And I guess my one bit of advice is just make sure you love the space that you're in. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to This Girl's Insight, where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos, I share my insights, my journey, my life with you. So in this series, I have shown you how I converted my double bedroom to a studio flat. We talked about what I did with the bedroom area, how I created a living room area, and today we are going to the heart of the home, the kitchen, and how I managed to create some extra space in this small kitchen and cook practically anything and everything without a hob or a stove. If you haven't seen part one or part two, the link is in the description, but for now, here's a quick recap. It's basically a very long room. As soon as you walk in the door, you can basically see most of the room. And because I wanted it to almost feel like a bedroom, living room and kitchen area, I actually decided to make very clear lines. So right now, I'm standing in the bedroom. There's a wardrobe over here and there is a bed to the side right here. I tried to create an office area right next to the bed. Now that is on purpose. That is not a space issue. Now as we come into the living area, um, first thing you notice is so far. So you've got the sofa, you've got my keyboard with an ottoman over there and you have got the TV stand and some storage space with the TV stand as well. Also got two bookshelves, which really isn't full of books. I had to get creative with storage solutions. How could I forget my favorite thing about this living area? My absolute favorite thing. Actually, my favorite thing in this whole studio flat is this right here. Yeah. Where do I begin? Yo, I love this spot. Okay, y'all, after the excitement of the ottoman, now we come into the kitchen, and this should be a calmer experience for all of us. <laughs> Literally, my heart is racing. Let me talk up my tea real quick. Mm. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> kitchen. Now, the kitchen area, I did not do that much to it because it basically came with all the covered space. Now, for anyone who doesn't know or you don't watch my cooking with onion videos, I actually have a separate full kitchen that I use. Because the room was rented as a double bedroom, this was more of a kitchenette area, but then it didn't have, it doesn't have a hob. It doesn't have anything that you could basically cook with. So in the house, um, because this is a shared house, um, there is a separate kitchen that I can use. Now the plan when I moved in was not to really cook in here and to use the main kitchen, but I have ended up being able to use this kitchen for a lot of stuff. The main reason is because of one of these. I got a multi-cooker. In fact, I have more than one multi-cooker. Y'all know I love a multi-cooker. Um, if you've seen any of the reviews or any of those videos. But again, I have my multi-cooker. I have my kettle. I have my blender. I basically have everything I need in here. I've got all my storage space. We're not going to look in the cupboards real quick because the cupboards are a hot mess. But I've basically got all of that in there. I didn't really do much in the kitchen. What I did do actually was this was all one space. So to create additional, again, the cupboards are a mess. Do not come for me. Um, but basically, I need to declutter, y'all. That's a different conversation. But this was all, for some reason, all the other cupboards, they had this demarcation area. They had this, but this one was just all one space. So all I did was I went to Ikea and I found a piece of like wood that just matched the measurements. And again, it wasn't expensive. It was definitely less than a tenner. Like it was not expensive. And what I was able to do was stick this in the middle and then I could basically use hooks to then have a separate space in here for cutlery. This is another multi-cooker, by the way. And then just, I just have a lot of Tupperware, y'all, and a lot of like party food stuff. I don't know why. I just have a lot of it. But yeah, that's another way I did try and create additional storage and space in the kitchen area just by buying shelves. The other thing I did in the kitchen, which wasn't really intentional, was this table. So when I first moved in, this was the table I moved in with from my old house. And when I got my new desk with all the storage, um, I was going to throw this away. And then I put it over here just to be like, I'm going to put it over here for a minute and then I'll chuck it. And then I realized it just really fits in. I don't know if you all can see, but basically where you've got all of this wood, it just really fits in with there. And what it has done for me is it has allowed me to have extra counter space when I am cooking. I don't actually really have counter space for food prep. I will actually do my food prep on here and basically... I then have more counter space. So that was another way I created more space for me to work with in the kitchen. Also, you might not notice behind this table, the, I don't know if you all know what it is. This is a broom um, or we call it a ballet. But basically, I'm not about to be faffing about with a, with a vacuum cleaner. 
so basically just behind the sink this really isn't a kitchen feature this is an all over the flat feature because what i do is i have these i have two of these folding tables where basically you can basically fold it and you've got a table now i use this in the sofa area a lot because again it goes back to that idea of i don't like i like to be able to be flexible with my space sometimes i'm working from home and something has frustrated me like i have got an email that i'm like oh my days i just want to smack everyone on the face of this earth what i do is instead of working at my main desk i can take one of these unfold it sit by the sofa and work off of there because i can then have my screen and my laptop on the desks again just being flexible with the space and then last but not least this really is not a kitchen feature but you will notice there is not a full length mirror anywhere in this flat so all i did was i went to wilkinson i went to wilco and all i did was i got this over the door hook mirror it was something like 12 quid 14 quid again not expensive but just notice i keep saying not expensive but 10 quid here 20 quid here 10 quid here actually turns into a lot of money after a while so be mindful of expenses when you're doing something like this but as i was saying oddly enough i had to come and look at myself in the kitchen because i wanted to use the other door for the coat hooks um but again it works it does the job it's a mirror and that is basically the kitchen so now the bathroom which is through this door and actually there isn't much to show in here but there's something i do want to show you guys because a few months ago someone did ask for an update on a diy video actually before we go into that first thing you notice in the bathroom is more hooks again so i have got the mirror hooking on one side so as you can see there's a mirror hook on that side and then the other hook is basically like a towel rack and again it's a double one so this one only has eight i went for it because it was a prettier one so i have my towels on here then as you come into the bathroom it is a very small space so this is basically all of the standing space that i have um you have the shower on the side and the only thing i did in the shower was i did buy a shower caddy so i could kind of have my products in there as well i was actually going to change this mirror because it's a pretty small mirror as you can see and the plan was to take the mirror off and have like a actual cabinet in there for again more storage space then i realized i am renting i don't want to end up doing all that much work and that it's not furniture i can take with me so i decided to live with this especially because i have my bigger mirror on the other side of the door and then storage was not an issue because of this and i don't know if you guys remember this video about camille i know i didn't make up that name she is actually called camille so you can actually search for camille on the sink cabinet if you all are interested i will leave a link in the description box and actually this is what i wanted to show you guys because basically one of y'all one beautiful person left a comment on one of my videos and you said you wanted an update on the under sink cab under sink cabinet so this is your update and what i'll do is i'll reply to your comments with a timestamp. um comment below to let me know if you actually got this message um but yeah, this under sink cabinet solved all my bathroom storage. So in between the shower caddy and in between this, um, basically I've got all my hair stuff in there, oils in there. It's basically got everything. And for the update, as you can see, it still looks great. I haven't changed the knobs on it yet. Um, I will, I might change the knobs in a bit, but then I actually really like this because I chose this because it matches the door hooks through on the bathroom door. The only thing I can say um, is this has actually got a scratch now. So I don't know if you can see this scratch. I've not been able to get it off. I am not sure what I did to it and how I did that. But generally, you can see it still looks pretty good. And I pour water on it all the time because like when I'm cleaning the sink and stuff, water will drop on here and I just wipe it down and it's fine. So um, again, thank you so much for your comment. And that is basically the update. I am still in love with Camille. Um, and I think that's basically it. I'm not sure how it has taken me so long to show you a studio apartment. But that is basically my apartment tour. And that felt like a lot of energy in this video. Um, I am so tired. Oh, oh okay, well, I actually feel like I need another cup of tea. I don't know why, but this video has been kind of emotional. Um, let's see. Oh, you guys have never seen this mug, have you? Um, Insta people know what this is. Um, but someone had this mug made for me, actually. So thank you so much to the beautiful person who sent this to me. I am definitely in a chamomile tea kind of space. Is the water boiled? Did the water just boil? Yeah. I feel like you could just leave this in there, but I like to pour it directly on. I hope this came across, but I really just enjoy this space and i guess my one bit of advice is if you're ever doing like a decorating project whatever work you're doing just make sure you love the space that you're in and you love the end result because i truly just 
Like, it's not the biggest space in the world. It's not the fanciest space in the world. It's probably not the prettiest space in the world. But it is a space that makes me feel like me. Um, I don't even know where that speech came from. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you have not joined the family yet, if you have not subscribed, there is the subscribe button somewhere on the screen. Please do subscribe. Please do join the family. Like, you know, it would be an honor to have you join the family. Press the bell if you want to get notifications for whenever I have a new video coming up um like comment tell everyone you know all of that good stuff and i'm just gonna say god bless you jesus loves you may the spirit of god be with you bye guys this gal's inside i wanna get to know you